So I want to address two questions here. The first question is did Marx use the term capitalism? And if you didn't use it or use it sparingly, <clears throat> um, then what is the significance? Of the use or lack of use. The term. Okay, so we'll start with the uh, last time I mentioned that Michael Byrne in the Internationalist uh, Encyclopedia of Social Sciences on his entry on capitalism made this claim. Um, that's so about. first used um, this term that is capitalism now I also mentioned last time that that's not true but uh, so that was in his 1902 book there Moderne, moderne capitalismos. Um, but it is true that it was um, Dombart who actually popularized the term. Or at least the, that's what lit, the literature says. <clears throat> um, apparently, because um, as the French sociologist Eve Chapelle in her article on capitalism and accounting, uh, she mentioned that the concept was forged during the 19th century. So one of the references she dug out was uh, the use in 1850 by Louis Blanc in his treatise Organisation du Travail the organization of work. Um, Louis Blanc was a French politician, but I think he was an economist as well. And this quote from him, where he is used to distinguish between capital and capitalism, which presume private appropriation of uh, capital. This, uh, he writes, uh, Louis Blanc, that is, this sophism consists of perpetually confusing the usefulness of capital with what I shall call capitalism. In other words, the appropriation of capital by some to the exclusion of other. Let everyone shout, long live capital. We shall applaud and our attack on capitalism, its deadly enemy shall be all the stronger. So Louis Blanc made this distinction between capital and capitalism and he is rejecting capitalism and espousing um, capital. Um, 
but the word was in fact seldom used in the 19th century. Proudhon, Proudhon used it very little but provided a definition which also refers to a certain ownership system economic and social regime in which capital as a source of income does not generally generally belong to those who implement it in their own work. The, his uh, use of capitalism is similar to Louis Blanc. Um, and then she goes on to say that Marx hardly ever used capitalism, the term capitalism. He mostly used... Um, he constantly used expressions such as capitalist system or capitalist production, but uh, Frederick Engels used it and the German economist uh, Alfred Scheffel used the term capitalism as early as 1870. Um, and as I said, the Zumbart used it in his 1902 work and um, he popularized it. Now, going back to Marx, so um, this Desai, the Marxist, uh, you know, I think, you know, Marxist, Marxist uh, dictionary uh, edited by Bottomore uh, on the article on capitalism he says that uh, Marx doesn't use the word capitalism in his two major works, that is Das Capital, which is his the major work, Das Capital. And he doesn't use it in his uh, work, we, which he wrote with uh, Frederick, uh, Frederick Engels, uh, communist uh, communist manifest. So that's uh, pretty significant. That. We don't come across the term um, capitalism either in Das Capital or Communist um, Manifest. <clears throat> On the other hand, what Marx uses according to Desai is uh, the words, his main words are capital. Obviously, the name of the book is The Capital, uh, or Capital, um, and he used capitalists, and as we see, he used capitalists in the sense that, you know, capitalists are the one who are using capital for their own profits. So that's a, that's a similar to what uh, Louis Blanc and Proudhon Proudhon, Proudhon says. Um, um, so Marx doesn't use the word uh, capitalism in this. And <clears throat> the first use, according to this, why um, Marx first use is What capitalism in eighteen seventy seven and it is significant when he uses it, he uses it in his correspondence with some of his Russian followers not Lenin Lenin's group but the more popular revolutionaries um, um, so what is the 
So he uses here in 1877 for the first time in his correspondence with his Russian followers when he is discussing the problem of transition. Problem of transition from of Russia. Russia was still a non-industrialized country from feudalism to full capitalism. Russia was moving towards capitalism for some for some time, but um, but it was slow, and Russia was still con considered backward as far as capitalist development is concerned, and that had had a an implication for the Marxist theory of change because Marx predicted that uh, communism will be established or socialism will be established in a, in in the most uh, developed and advanced capitalist country in Britain I guess or maybe in Germany now Desai says that um, Marx's uh, lack of the use of the term might have been because of um, the newness of the term And then he mentions that uh, Oxford English Dictionary first uses the word capitalism in 1854. And that's to a certain extent true, but as uh, we pointed out uh, with reference to article, article by Eve Chappelle, that um, um, that um, it has been in fact used before even if it wasn't very in a wide circulation by so 1850 Louis Blanc used it and Proudhon used it and um, the economist uh, the economist um, um, Alfred Scheffel used it in 1870 so that's a bit late but so and even if this is the case, that, that's not a very interesting answer. Um, I think um, what Desai says about when, he, when Marx first uses the term capitalism, that's significant because with his Russian uh, followers, he used it and he's talking with them about the question of transition. That is transition from feudalism to capitalism. So <clears throat> that's the appropriate context of you for which Marx uses the term capitalism, because for Marx, uh, capitalism is. Uh, period in history in that sense. So capitalism in that sense is sort of equal to modern society or modernity. Um, so for him there is a feudalism and transition to feudalism you get capitalism and then transition to capitalism you have communism or socialism or both so it makes sense that he uses the word first time in with reference to the question of transition 
because that's where the term capitalism for Marx belongs because it's the system and it's the system which replaced the previous system. But when he discusses how this system works, and that's what he is mainly doing in, in Das Kapital and all those things, uh, then his focus is on capital. And since he understands capital with reference to capital class or capitalists, he uses uh, the term capitalist more. So for Marx, um, um, capitalism is a system in which capital predominates and then he defines capital. So, when he is talking about transition from feudalism to capitalism, he talks about the system, but when he's trying to understand capitalism as such, then he focuses on capital and capitalism. At least this is a partial and more interesting answer. Why is this question important there? Important there. The question is important because um, Marx understand capitalism in terms of um, capital. So the capital is his main focus. And in this focus, we agree with capitalism, and his main work is called Das Kapital. And he defines capital <clears throat> as a thing or process. Um, in which you accumulate for the sake of accumulation. We'll do some separate videos on his conception of capital, but for now, this is fine. But the, in capitalism, there are two things which are objectionable to Marx. One is capitalists. Because the capitalists are using capital. So capital is private. So that's another thing. The capitalists are using capital to serve their own class interests. So that's his objection to capitalism. And that's the same objection which Louis Blanc has. It's very significant that Marx's objection is the same as what Louis Blanc's objection is. If you go back to that uh, uh, quote from Louis Blanc, um, so he said, um, Louis Blanc in his treatise Organization de Travail, um, he used it for the first time to distinguish between capital and capitalism, which presumes private appropriation of capital. So capitalism is private appropriation of capital according to Louis Blind, according to Marx as well. So this sophism, and sophism consists of perpetually confusing the usefulness of capital. So Blanc is all about capital accumulation, and so is Marx as well with what I shall call capital, but he rejects capital. In other words, the pro appropriation of capital by some to the exclusion of others. So what Blanc wants is the accumulation of capital, but for all, not for one class, but for all humanity. And that's what Marx wants as well. So um, 
In other words, uh, the appropriation of capital by some to the exclusion of others. Let everyone shout, long live capital. And I think that's what Marx, uh, if he doesn't use this word, but that's what Marx does as well. We shall applaud and our attack on capitalism is its deadly enemy shall be all the stronger. So um, that's what Marx, Marx's position is too. And Proudhon, Proudhon uh, economic and social regime in which capital as a source of income does not generally belong to those who implement it in their work. So that's sort of a Marxist position as well. So what I want to say here is um, that Marx, and I will explain this uh, more thoroughly in future videos, but I just want to make the point clear. Marx rejects capitalism. because in capitalism capital serves a particular class and not the humanity as a whole that's his object so he doesn't reject capital capital you reject capitalism because capitalism capitalism is a private use of cap capital for a specific class which is a bourgeois z class for for marx um <clears throat> and um, um this uh, and to understand it uh, a bit more so Ma marx is Basic, Marx is a follower of Hegel and, and Feuerbach. And one thing which he got from Feuerbach was Feuerbach was um, his conception of humanism. And Feuerbach had said that it's not that God creates man, but it's the man who created God. And then forgot it. Uh, so gods are basically man's self projection, and then the man forgets that. So for both uh, Marx and Feuerbach, uh, human beings are creators, and and that's what humanism is. They are, in a sense, God. The real God create gods and but in order to be real God or creator what human beings need is to overcome necessity and scarcity and it is the capital through which you do that. It is the capital through which you do that. The only objection uh, Marx has against capitalism is that it doesn't use this great opportunity to overcome scarcity and necessity for humanity as a whole. and you know, pave the way for become humans becoming real gods and creators and just base that uh, uh, in the private interests of for, of capitalists. So Marx is, that's why Marx is all for capital. Even when he rejects capitalism. And socialism is basically a system in which capital would be used to overcome necessity so people can actually, humans can actually become real creators. And then they can create whatever they like and are not obliged to work out of necessity and not limited by nature, etc. And that's why he's so mad against capitalism because it's uh, 
basically wasting that opportunity so so our position is so very clearly different from Marx even though some people might <laughs> misunderstand that because Marx reject capitalism but he accept capital capital you believe in humanism that humans are God but we for for example our position is clearly different from Marx that we reject humanism in this sense and we reject capitalism and we reject capital because this capital is the universalization of avarice and covetousness um, or greed and jealousy which uh, you know we which which are voices so we try to get rid of this okay thank you